We never know if we'll see our students once they leave our doors. And fortunately, sometimes they come back and they make you proud that you do what you do. This isn't trying to make somebody do something. This is helping someone who wants to do something productive get there and become a success. When you know that the, the pool of individuals that need you is so large, um, 40,000, and we've said that for a long time, 40,000 in York County, by serving 1,000 a year, we're really tipping an iceberg. Most of the people I talk to about the Literacy Council don't really know what's happening here. Unless you see the success stories, it is hard to imagine. It's just a, a hidden treasure. Not only has the organization gone through the COVID-19 experience and had to adapt to that and implement the strategic plan, they've also had to move to a new facility, which is a wonderful new facility that allows for a better and more efficient delivery of the services that uh, Literacy Council provides. Um, the potential for growth is due to the new space. So we are seeing ourselves as expanding all of our classroom opportunities. And um, to be honest with you now, the space is really given more dignity to our mission. The return on the dollar in terms of an improvement to the York community is impressive. They have a plan and they know where they're going and they know how they can get even better. Donors get asked every day for money. So it becomes a, you have to decide who do you want to support. And I personally would rather support somebody that has proven results. And the Literacy Council does. Every goal achieved by the students, big or small, has a ripple effect on the York County community. Your neighbor's accomplishments are victories for all of us. So it is my honor to be able to welcome you to celebrate success with the York County Literacy Council alumni whose hard work and perseverance have materialized into personal triumphs. We could not be prouder of you and your success. They are there to support you. Like they work around the clock and they work with you whatever little space or time you have to work on and you know it just push you and if I had to tell people just take the leap you know and it, it's hard I know it's not easy. It definitely made me want to further my education coming here and they apply pressure and that's what a lot of us need a lot of us don't get that. This place is wonderful because a lot of people they don't know what to start or how to progress. I can feel their, their love. They help me like a family. There was so many times I wanted to quit and they wouldn't let me. <laughs> they would not let me. They kept giving me the confidence. I even sent a thank you card note here because it's so nice. Oh, look at that. I can't explain how much I grateful for them. Doesn't matter how hard it is, if you really work hard, you can succeed in the life. You have to give up something to gain something, you know? You have to give up your time. You have to, you know, work hard to get what you want. My daughter was having troubles with school, and when she see me graduate, she's like, oh my gosh, Mom. In the second semester, she did it. She passed, and I did it. She did it. We broke the cycle, so I was able to grow within the company and be a better provider for my family. Working around work is a little bit harder, but I mean, if you're gonna go through with it, you might as well just do what you need to do and get it done. If you're serious about it, you'll make it work. However hard you may think it is, trust me, it gets easier. It does, it does. And the outcome of it is wonderful, <laughs> wonderful. And I got to come to United States because my mom, she became sick. And when I came here, I have nothing. So I got to start a new, completely whole life here. They help me a lot, because <laughs> I learn most of the English that I know here. I'm doing what I can, I'm doing my best. I mean, I'm never going to lose my accent, but I'm proud of it, who, you know, who I am, where I come from. Um, be more confident, um, because I have education. When the people talk to me and they say, you got a strong accent, and I say, yes, and it's beautiful because that means that I can speak 
both language. Absolutely. I'm also trying to set the example is also for my son. He's 11 years old, and he see that I'm going to school even after so many years back to school, running school and studying. So that also kind of you know role model for him. I went through, I fought for it, and then I now feel like that's the best decision I make in my life. I would definitely recommend your accounting. There's a council, these teachers here, these people here are just amazing. And that's what made me come, you know, to these classes and come and finish what I did because I, they saw potential in me. They saw it in me, so I had to see it in myself too, so. There's programs after you complete your GED here. They help you try to reach your goals. Another nice thing they have here that is too is next step program after you pass. They help you like get into schooling or get jobs or whatever you need um, and it'll further my career and everything for me and my family. I'm my own boss now, which is amazing. That was a solid 10 year grind to get where I'm at. But I wouldn't have been able to do that without first being here at the Literacy Councils. But the sky's the limit. I mean, you can do anything. If you're motivated enough, um, anybody can do it. The next step is um, I want to become a good leader. So I started my own company. I really want to have other people too. That's my dream, American dream. The beauty of America is that we are all different. Uh, immigrants that are coming to America are twice as likely to be entrepreneurs. They're bringing new things into our community. It widens our world. You can just see the pride in their face. You can, you can just tell that they've, they've gotten to a point where they're now happier with themselves and they're happier with their position in life. The more we can help by uh, improving their position, the better the community will be because they will be employable, uh, capable of being out on their own, not and maybe independent from services, paying into local taxes, which helps us all. It's definitely not stagnant. It's adapting, it's evolving, it's improving, and it's getting better. We are about to uh, launch our Literacy Empowerment Campaign, um, which is a, a big fundraiser for us every year. The Literacy Empowerment Campaign keeps the lights on. So we're really hoping that our Literacy Empowerment Campaign this year is successful. And we just hope that there is um, a good portion of the community that's able to support us this year. As the Honorary Chair of the Literacy Empowerment Campaign, it's my duty and it's my honor to ask you to contribute to the Literacy Empowerment Campaign if there are other things you'd like to talk to the Literacy Council about in terms of being a volunteer or being a tutor. We'd really enjoy having you as part of the team. I think the message needs to get out more for people. So I hope um, more people keep coming because it's a great, great opportunity. You know, it's not just the GED, it's not just the education, there's so many skills that you'll you'll take on for the rest of your life. Congratulations to all the students who have successfully graduated from our program. Best wishes for a productive life in York and personally. Thank you.